Hey, this is Fans514, and I don't know if you saw during the Super Bowl, but the new Transformers Last Night trailer has gone up. Well, it looks like the whole humans hunting Transformers is still kind of going on. Uh, you know, we see that little Metal Gear gecko looking thing walking around the trailer. Uh, you know, and then someone's asking Cade where is, is, you know, where the others are hiding. You know, then, you know, we... See that little girl find that one Transformer, which we've seen in another trailer, uh, you know, when, like, that baseball stadium is wrecked. Uh, but there's some stuff in the, this new one that kind of has me thinking. So, we see Optimus's face, you know, we hear this female voice saying, or asking him, you know, if he wants redemption, you know, because his, his planet is is dead or dying and he you know says yes my maker now this is kind of important because you know at the end of four uh, spoilers if you haven't seen it he leaves earth to find the creators now that's you know what said the creators now he's calling this person he's talking to my maker um, this is kind of important because uh, there are 13 primes. Um, one of them is named Solus Prime, S-O-L-U-S. Uh, she has this this forge. Like it's a giant hammer. It's called the Forge of Solus Prime. Now, with this, she can use any raw materials and create anything. You know, it's very possible in this in the movie timeline that you know, she, you know, created the other Transformers. So, you know, the creators could be referencing the ones that created the original Primes, and maybe Solos Prime had a hand in, you know, making most of the Transformers. You know, that's just one, you know, possibility. Uh, you know, you'll see, you see in the fight, between Bumblebee and Optimus, Bumblebee has a massive hammer. Now, it could be the Forge of Solus Prime. You know, maybe something happened somehow. Bumblebee gets his hands on it. Now, like I said, the the Forge of Solus Prime can create you know anything from pretty much any material. However, only a Prime can create something using the Forge of Solus Prime. Bumblebee wouldn't really be able to create anything using the Forge of Solus Prime, but that wouldn't stop him from using it as a weapon. Another thought that I had is uh, maybe you know, what they're hinting at isn't really what's going on. Now, let, let me explain that a little better. Um, you know, we're kind of made to understand that this female voice is what makes Optimus Prime, you know, fight the Autobots or fight Bumblebee, uh, because you know she's talking to him and he says, "Yes, my maker," and his, his eyes kind of change. Um, but I mean, it's very possible that that's actually a reference to something else, separate from the maker. So, I mean, I'm most likely wrong, but. Um, it does look like, you know, Unicron might be in this movie. Uh, there's that scene on the moon where something is scraping by and it's kind of knocking Sentinel Prime's ship. Um, it's very possible that's, you know, part of Unicron, but there's also a possibility that it's Cybertron. Perhaps something is bringing Cybertron to Earth, um... You know, we have seen that in the, the original cartoons, but, you know, there's a good chance it's Unicron, and if you haven't seen the 1986 Transformers movie, Unicron over here, uh, revives Megatron into Galvatron. Now, maybe something like that is happening in this, maybe Optimus gets sent to fight, you know, Unicron or something else, you know, the... She might have sent him to fight the creators. The creators may have, you know, destroyed him. That's why we see that one shot um, 
of him dead in space, and maybe, you know, Unicron finds him and, uh, you know, sends him to Earth to destroy all the, the Transformers in fear that they might be able to stop him before he destroys the Earth. So maybe, you know, that's him passing by the moon, kind of scraping. Um, but it's very possible it's just Cybertron. Now, I do kind of like the, you know, the whole Dark Awakening reference. Um, there's an episode in the original series called Dark Awakening uh, where Optimus Prime is brought back to life by the Quintessons, who were the creators of the Transformers in the 1980s series. And, uh, you know, they bring him back to life and pretty much, like, reprogram him so that he'll fight, or he'll destroy the Autobots and the Decepticons. Um, you know, it's, it's very possible that's kind of what's, what's going on in the movie, but, you know, I do kind of like that reference. I do like the idea of a, an evil Optimus, uh, maybe they'll call him Nemesis Prime, but we'll see. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to expand on on what I said, you know, I'd be interested to see that. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more uh, kind of Transformers videos from me. Alright? Later!